this actually is just one problem for a student, but I thought I should make it for everybody. Um, and man, that window behind me is bright today, so I can't see real well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And so here is the problem I'm working with. And this is um, asking for where it's increasing and decreasing. Okay, so if we start with something like this, we always have to start with the derivative, okay? But this is a product rule and a chain rule. So the derivative is a little bit harder. So first you have to find that derivative using the product and the chain rule. So remember the product rule is first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So our first is that first part that you're multiplying. So that's our x minus nine. The second is e to the two x, negative two x. Okay, so we wanna find the derivative of each of these. So the derivative of x minus nine is just one. So the nine drops off, we're left with just a one. Now the derivative of the second, we know e to the x stays e to the x, but we have a negative two up there. So we keep what we have and we have to multiply it by the derivative of the exponent and that was our chain rule. Okay, so derivative of the exponent. Now let's go back and write the whole thing out and then we have to find where it equals zero. Okay, and that's going to help us with that critical value. Okay, so from here I am going to have um, The first, x minus nine, hopefully you can hear me, I didn't have my headphones on, um, times the derivative of the second, so times, I'm gonna write the negative two in front, e to the negative two x, so first, derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, so here's where you have to remember some algebra skills a little more. Um, I can times this through, but honestly, I don't want to. I want to start with taking out an e to the negative 2x. When I take that out of the first one, I'm left with this negative 2, which I like to write in front, and then the parentheses. And then on the second part, I'm left with a 1 plus 1. Right, times one, that part didn't really matter much. So we're left with this. So I took that e to the negative 2x out. Why would I take that out? Oh, because it can't equal zero. So it can't equal zero, it can't be part of our critical value. Um, so when we go from here, we need to simplify over here a little more. So this. Um, is going to be because plus 18 plus 1. So then that 18 and that 1 can become a 19. Okay, and we want to find, we want to find where it equals 0. Well, this part can't equal 0, so it kind of just drops off. It can't give us a solution. So this part can, and you should see it's negative 19 over negative two or 19 halves. So x equals 19 halves. So our one critical value is at that point. So we have to check below and above to see um, where it's positive and where it's negative for increasing and decreasing. So we have one critical value at 19 halves. So, um, at 19 halves, oops, is about 9.5. So if I wanted to use something below, I'm going to use zero. And if I use something above, I'm going to use 10, just because. So I'm going to let x equal I don't really need to mark them on my graph. That was kind of silly, but that's okay. So then I'm going to use my calculator and put zero into my derivative. So here's my derivative simplified right here, basically. 
So um, I'm going to take my derivative at zero. So I'll have e to the negative two times zero, and then I'll have negative two times zero plus 19. Okay, and I have to just put that in my calculator to see if it's positive or negative. So, okay, so um, e to the zero, I, I can't get that though. No, I can't, okay. I was thinking it, it equals zero. Okay, so that equals one and then I would have uh, zero plus 19. I don't know why I'm really needing a calculator. So zero plus 19 is positive. Okay, and then let's put in 10. So we'd have e to the negative two times 10, and then negative two times 10 plus 19. So uh, put that in as well. And this is the function at m for the derivative. Okay, so I'm gonna put that into my calculator. And uh, yeah, there it is, okay. So e to the negative two times 10 um, times negative, oops, wrong negative, it'll get mad at me, times 10 plus 19 is a negative really small number. Nope, really big number. So this is negative. So we are, positive than negative, and this is a zero critical value, not an undefined, it's a zero. And so we are increasing then decreasing, all right? So we would say from negative infinity to 19 halves, we're increasing. And we would say from 19 oops, halves to infinity, we're decreasing. How can I check if I'm right? Well, I'm gonna take a second, let me minimize this, and I'm gonna go to Desmos. And I'm gonna put in my original function, x minus nine. Um, if you just type in the lowercase e, it'll automatically know you mean um, the e that we want. And here we go. So at this value right here, it should be the 19 halves, um, which is 9.5. Oh, maybe it isn't, it's up here. So it switches right here, 19 half zero. Okay, so we are increasing all the way to 9.5 here, and then we're decreasing. Man, that's hard to see on here. It wasn't that helpful to graph this one because it's so right. I mean, it just so looks flat, but it's actually um, decreasing starting at that point. It always, it won't show you them unless you click by them, but you can see that it has that. So nine is where it crosses the X um, axis, but the 9.5 is where it starts to then decrease. So it should start to go down from here, but hard to tell. But there you go. So if you graph the original, you should be able to see your answer and make sure it's correct.